Hey, what's up everyone? Crypto Henry here, and today I'm going to show you how to be paid to trade on Uniswap. And also how to set limit orders on Uniswap. Like, wh what's this? How can I be paid to trade on Uniswap? Well, usually you need to pay to trade. You need to pay a small transaction fee on Uniswap. But in this case, instead of paying to trade, I'm going to show you how to be paid to trade and at the same time, how to set up a limit order on Uniswap. And this kind of limit orders that I'm going to show you today can also help you to, for example, do some kind of dollar cost averaging if you want to buy crypto when the price of a certain crypto is going down. You can use this strategy that I'm going to show you to load up your bags while the price is going down or do the other way around. Imagine you have a certain crypto and you want to sell it um, when the price goes up and you want to sell more as the price goes up and you want to do it automatically without really any manual intervention, well, Uniswap pools will uh, help you to do this. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. And in fact, first I want to show you here what is a limit order in uh, in the crypto trading and most of DEXs, most de decentralized exchanges will not allow you to um, to have limit orders. Uniswap doesn't have limit orders, but, but Matcha, which is a, a DEX aggregator, in fact, you have uh, limit orders. So let's say I could choose here, uh, pay wrapped ETH and receive, uh, I don't know, die, and I could set a limit order. So I, I could say, I want to, um, pay 0.1 wrapped ETH when wrapped ETH price is at instead of 1,670 instead of 1,617 I want to buy at 1,500 for example and this expires within 7 days okay and I will um, connect wallets and if the price reaches 1,500 I would um, sell 0 0.1 wrapped ease and receive a die. Or this could be also the, way, the other way around. In fact, I'm going to show you on Uniswap how to pay a, a, a stablecoin. In this case, I'm going to show you how to exchange USDC for wrapped ease at a certain price. But while in this case, what you see here, you will be paying a transaction fee. I'm going to show you how to do exactly this, but be paid to do this. So how is it possible? Well, let's get into Uniswap. And on Uniswap, you have here the swap. So you can use this part of the interface to swap. But in this case, we want to be liquidity providers. And we want to provide liquidity at a certain range. Uh, you should notice also that I'm connected to Optimism. So Uniswap is compatible with Ethereum, Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum, and Celo. And obviously, Optimism is cheaper in terms of transactions fees when compared to Ethereum. You can do this in any of these networks, but you need to be aware of the transaction fees, of course. So let's go to pool. You see here that I had some uh, positions in the past, but what I want to do now is to create a new position and I want to select a token. Oh, by the way, let me, before that, let me show you what I have inside my wallet. So pay attention specifically here to the optimism, the ones that have the OP here. So I have a little bit of ETH on my optimism um, chain on my wallet and USDC, right? And so I could provide liquidity in these two. By the way, if you want to know how to profit from providing liquidity on Uniswap, um, you can check this video uh, up there. So typically, you'll provide a range, let's say from between 1,614 to 1,621. We can provide a wider range. You could provide a range something like this, 1,500 to 1,700. But in this case, what we want to do is to sell USDC in exchange for ETH. So what you could do is 
to come here to our range and I'm going to put, uh, let's say the minimum price, I could put here 1,500 to 1,550. Um, and remember here, the current price of ETH is 1,617. So you see, instead of providing the pair, is USDC. I'm going to provide only USDC. And what it happens once it reaches this range over here is that I'm going to start buying ETH. Uh, so basically, the Uniswap pool will be start exchanging using my USDC for people that want to sell their ETH. Okay. So people will sell their ETH and receive the USDC. And I will be providing this USDC. Uh, and receive ETH in exchange. So this will be in practice like a limit order, right? Because I'm setting up a certain price that I want to provide liquidity and I'll be paid to do this, which is super cool, right? Uh, if you are already planning to buy ETH at a certain price, well, you can be paid to do that. You could also do the same uh, the other way around. Okay, so let's say you want to take profit at 1,700, um, and you want to buy from 1,700 to 1,720. Um, and in this case, you will be providing your ETH and exchanging it for USDC. And by the way, in this case, we are giving the ETH USDC example, but there are many, many, many other tokens that you could choose from, okay? Uh, there are tons of tokens and depending on the network, so you can do whatever you want with your tokens. By the way, you can use this calculator here and um, to see how much you'll eventually profit from doing this um, exchange, okay? So let's say I want to select here the uh, pair USTC and the fee 0 0.05, 0 0.05, yes, it's this one, click calculate and Basically, you can understand that, let's say, I'm going to provide liquidity at this range, which is out of range, that's why you have here zero. But once the price goes to this range, so I'm going to move this one here, and I'll start, let's say, buying ETH, like during this range. Can you see this moving here? Okay. You see it moving there? So the uh, the green is basically the your range and the pink line is the price. So as long as the price is with inside this, you'll be making money. And the price goes all the way from one side to the other and you'll just be accumulating ETH during this phase and you will be paid. So you'll be paid maybe not much, but if you are providing like 1,000, bucks worth of USDC, you would be paid maybe around $16 if it takes 24 hours. Of course, like if it is very fast and it takes one hour, it, it will be like a, a, a sm way smaller. So this is not uh, absolutely accurate, but it's just to give you an idea of, yeah, you can actually be paid to do this. So let's set up here uh, a range. Remember the price at the moment, of the time of the recording, 1,620. So I'm going to put here 1,619 <laughs> to 1,618. Oh, 18. I'm going to provide my ease. And I hope for the sake of the video that the price goes down just for the sake of the video, so that you can see that my USDC will be transformed into um, ETH. Okay, but let's go ahead and I'm going to add my USDC, provide the liquidity. I'm going to pay 10 cents transaction fee, approve on MetaMask, always double check whatever you approve on MetaMask. And mm -hmm. done. So the transaction is confirmed. Now let's wait for the price to go down a little bit. We just need a little bit to start this working. So at the moment it, see, it says here out of range because the price is a little bit higher than um, our current range. So you can see here the current range that we are providing. 
Uh, as soon as the price enters the range, you start earning uh, fees uh, from people that are trading. And as soon as the price goes uh, below 1618.1, I have transformed all my USDC into ETH. And by the way, this is a very good illustration of what impermanent loss is. This is, let's say, impermanent loss on steroids. Uh, so uh, let's say, imagine we are doing the other way around. We are providing ETH um, and the price goes up. You will have less ETH and more USDC. And potentially you have all your bags in USDC depending on the range that you are providing. And this is what impermanent loss is. It's basically you are, um, the price of your asset in this case is going up, but you are selling your asset in exchange for the other token, USDC, and you will be um, missing that price pump. Uh, so impermanent loss is basically that you'll be better off if you don't sell it, you'll be better just holding. It doesn't mean that you are really losing money. It means that you'll be better off just holding the asset. All right, so it seems that uh, it came into range. So at the moment we are within the range. And um, you see that I have already a little bit of ETH. And uh, anyway, now I need to pause the video. Probably it will take a little bit of time to see uh, the price going uh, below 1,618. So I'll pause the video and come back to you in a few seconds. All right, I'm back. And this was actually very fast. It took like a, a minute after I stopped uh, the recording. And as you can see now, I have 100% ease. And um, the fees that I collected is actually very low. 0.0007 USDC. Um, but anyway, I think this was good enough to exemplify how it works. So now, yes, I have ease and instead of paying, I was paid to do this. Again, very little, but I was paid to do this, right? So now I'm going just to remove my liquidity. So I exchanged um, USDC for ETH. Uh, doing kind of a limit order on Uniswap, and I was paid to do that. Okay, but how could you make more money with this? Let's say you want to buy ETH, you think ETH price might, make, might go down, and you want to kind of dollar cost average, you want to buy a cheaper ETH, because you believe that sooner or later the ETH price is going up. So if I look here at my uh, calculator, I can put like a range, okay, let's say um, you want to buy all the way down to 1,300, okay, 1,300, and you want to start buying at 1,500. Um, so we'll have here this range that you can see here, the green uh, lines, uh, and if the price goes down, you'll start buying once it goes to this range and you'll um, buy all the way down if the price actually goes down, right? And during this period of time, and remember, this may take a few days, right? For the price to go from 1,500 to 1,600, it may take a few days. And during this period of time, per day, you could make some money. Again, this is not very accurate, but I mean, four dollars per day just to you know um provide liquidity and exchange an asset that otherwise you'll be paying to do so well not too bad so this is a great way to kind of uh, buy when the price is going down and also the same way imagine if you believe that the price is going up and you want to take profit um, so you want to sell part of your ETH or whatever is the token, and I want to sell all the way until it's $2,000, 1600 to $2,000. Uh, so I could just provide this liquidity again here. It's It will take probably um, some time to go all the way to $2,000, but basically you'll be uh, making money while you are selling your ETH, again, doing like four dollars of course these fees will be quite different depending on what kind of assets are you trying to exchange 
um, the more exotic uh, the token pair, the less liquid it is, the higher the fees probably uh, you will have. All right, I think now you can have a better understanding of what impermanent loss is. It's basically you are providing liquidity to a pool and when the price goes up or down, you are going to have more of one token instead of the other because people are buying more from one token and selling the other. And basically, when you provide this liquidity in a very close ranges on Uniswap, you have a permanent loss on steroids. But again, if I want to sell my ease, then it's not really a loss. But the way these pools are managed and the fact that you can on Uniswap select a range, a price range to buy or sell an asset, it can turn basically this impermanent loss into something in your favor. Uh, you have ETH and uh, you have a token and you want to cash out, you want to exchange for the other, you want to do it uh, during a, a certain uh, price range and Uniswap is pretty cool to do it and uh, to be paid while you do this. So I hope now you have a good understanding of what impermanent loss is, how to set up a limit order on Uniswap, and at the same time, how to be paid to do this. All right, that's all for this video. I hope you find it useful. If you find it useful, give it a like and let me know what you think in the description below. I'll see you next time.